know where you want to go. You have a blueprint. Everything's ready to go. So let's talk about setting up the channel. Now, I'm gonna take you to this YouTube channel and I want you to see the things that I did to this channel to make it successful. And when I say successful, I mean, is it, is it the best video? Is it the best YouTube channel there? No, but I will tell you, it's going, to, it's going in the right direction. One, I'm monetized. Two, I almost have 1.5 thousand subscribers and I got my watch hours. And I, so I'm doing pretty good for the first month. I started earning your leisure and it took us nine months to get monetized. So we're doing something right. So I'm gonna take you to the stream. So this is how you set up your channel correctly. And this is gonna help you get monetized and grow your channel faster. When I say that you have to put in every single info, every single thing on your, on, on, on your, on the uh, page, what well, I mean, you gotta put everything in. The more info you put, the more YouTube knows who you are and how to market you. So that's very important. I always wanted to put McDonald and Co. That, that's my company name, but I knew no one knew McDonald and I knew Co wasn't gonna do anything. So I had to put fit in the, my, my name because one, it's a fitness channel, but two, I wanted McDonald because one, you hustle for your last name. And two, I wanted it to be more about just me too. Like things I just think about and I wanna just post on YouTube. So it's, it's, it's really like an inspirational channel with fitness attached to it, which it's the same thing because you can be inspired by fit. So you wanna make your name where it's gonna know who you are and what you're doing right away. Your handle, you wanna make a handle that's available so people can easily find you. Description, write a brief description about what your page is about. Trust me, you may not think people look at this, but people look at all these different, different things. Links. You want to do your website link. You want to do an Instagram link, a Facebook link. Put as many links that you can do as possible so people can find you in all different avenues. I only have Instagram and I only have a website for this particular brand. So I didn't have too many things to add. Contact info. You can put an email as well. That definitely helps the channel so people can contact you and know what to do if they need to talk to you. So branding, this is the little icon. You wanna put an icon so so it's a brand like people know like MFIT, if they see it or they know who I am when they're scrolling through the the, 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 uh, the suggested list or, or, the, or the timeline of all the vi new videos posted, you wanna have your branding correct because people might just notice the MFIT and oh, I like his videos, let me go to him. Your banner, gotta have a banner. I put a nice black little background, McDonald and Fit. I made it look, look good on all the mobile mobile devices, desktops, and TVs. Got to you got to make a nice banner. Watermark. Watermark is really good too because you don't have to put anything on the video, um, like embed it into the video. You could just put it this part of the branding info, and this will show on all your videos. Again, you want your brand to become more memorable to, to the people when they see it. So if they do see that brand, that, that logo, they know, oh, it's McDonald's Fit. Let me watch this video. So continue to keep putting the brand as far, everywhere you can put it. Layout. So this is gonna be like your video spotlight. So if you can make a trailer for your, your YouTube channel, that's gonna be great because people can go to your YouTube channel because when you market it and, and give links out, they're gonna see a trailer and then they're gonna know kind of if they watch it, what your channel is about. I typically had that. Now I'm monetized. I kind of put the last video that's doing the, the video is doing the best. I keep it on the, the, the trailer and I also put it on a feature. So I use the same video. Now I'm going to play with this a little bit and see what works best. But right now I'm, I kind of put them the same because you don't know which one they're going to see or which one they're going to watch. The features, this is setting up like when they come to your channel, what they're going to see, like which videos with shorts. So I put the shorts on 
on the feature section. I put all videos. As I grow and get more videos, I only have 11 videos. I'm gonna have my different playlists. So may I might have uh, the fit, um, my Manjaro playlist. I'm gonna have inspirational playlists and things like that. So that's gonna be good. So, so people can see the different things I'm doing. I just don't have enough videos yet, but as I grow, I'm gonna do that. And the other thing is my feature channels. These are all my other channels. So EYL, Digital Mogul, and my personal, my personal channel I have forever.